start noticing more of these taking off in our region. In fact, the interest is so high, Community College of Allegheny County just started a class on drones. And there are many different reasons that bring students here. Andy Quayle works for West Mifflin, and he's learning how the borough can use it for surveying, police, and especially search and rescue. As far as public safety goes, well, we'd need to call out a the state police helicopter to help with the search and rescue. We can now just call out one of our staff and raise the drone. Um, it's a very minimal cost. There are more than 60 commercial users who've registered in Western Pennsylvania, but check out how many are flying drones just for fun. Here are some of the neighborhoods with the most drone users registered. Topping the list you see is a section of Greensburg with 85 registrants. This is good for individuals in public safety, oil and gas, surveying, insurance. The list goes on and on, private investigators. So there's many ways you can do it. There's even people that race drones. So you can see with these drones, the possibilities are endless, and that's why there is so much interest in learning exactly how to use these and what the rules are. But what about this? What happens when a drone is over you or maybe your house? What are the rules then? Well, the rules on privacy are actually still being developed by Congress. In other words, for now, if a drone is over your property, there's not a whole lot you can do about it yet unless you can prove it's somehow harassing you. The main thing to know is that if you have a drone, you are required to register it for about $5, and no one can fly a drone above 400 feet. From there, the new rules are much stricter for business use, which go into effect next month. Some highlights include you must keep the drone within sight at all times. Don't fly over any unprotected person or vehicle. You have to be vetted by the NSA, and you have to notify airports if you fly close. And here's something else to keep in mind around here. Each community could have different laws. You have to be cognizant of any individual municipality that you go to if they have regulations you know, that deal with privacy or deal with um, land access issues. And those in Pennsylvania is particularly interesting because of our municipal style of government when any municipality could pass their own laws. We have to be cognizant of that. Matt Mercurio owns Spatial Analytics. A few years ago, he saw this as a growing market, so he left his job to open up a drone training company used for surveying. Take a look at his very detailed 3D images. Tom Murin, on the other hand, just does this for fun. He's involved with racing drones. Some of these things can go 100 miles an hour. His advice to you is just to be aware the rules are constantly changing. So it's constantly being adapted and it's very similar to the technology. The technology is growing at a rapid pace uh, and so the regulation and oversight has to try to keep up with that. CCAC is one of the first in the state to offer this type of class. It's been so successful they're already talking about expanding their drone classes. Michelle Wright, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.